Howdy everybody, I am Sam Feifel, I'm the editor of SparPointGroup.com. Thanks for joining me today for Spar Vlog for the week of May 7, 2012. And this week the internet is burning up with the news that Virgin Atlantic has created ice cubes in the shape of Richard Branson's head. So when you order yourself a cocktail in first class, not something I would do, I don't fly in first class, but I'm sure you do since you work in the laser scanning industry, you will get cocktails with Richard's head floating right in them. And how did they make these? They made them using laser scanning. Uh, somehow, laser scanning, a little bit of photogrammetry, four weeks of work, and they got themselves some ice trays with Richard Branson's head. Now, why does this matter? It matters because we're using laser scanning for services that are sort of outside that initial traditional scope. Uh, something I call kind of frivolous, right? Uh, we could have done this in a different way, but they used laser scanning. And why is that a good thing? It's a good thing because more demand for laser scanning means more demand for laser scanning services, which means more laser scanners, which means cheaper prices for laser scanners. So, you know, I looked around the web trying to find other sort of frivolous uses, and I use frivolous in a nice way. You know, I actually think most of these things are pretty cool. And for instance, there's an artist named Sophie Kahn working out of Chicago who's making these 3D printed portraits for her clients. Uh, she uses laser scanning and then brings it into a modeling program and then prints it out. And you can see that they're not full heads, they're sort of just what the scan picks up, which gives them this cool kind of archival, ancient quality to them. Uh, and I can see why people would want them in their homes, they're pretty neat. Uh, you know, also I was cruising around, I saw Make Projects, right? This is a site for, you know, middle schoolers, right? And they have a project for laser scanning your head and printing your head out with a MakerBot, right? This is starting to be seen as, you know, the sort of thing that my eight-year-old can do, that your 12-year-old can do. Uh, and this is a good thing, right? And so I've had a number of laser scanning service providers kind of come to me and say, you know, this is a terrible thing. We don't want scanners to be cheap because then we're not going to be able to charge the great daily rate that we're charging right now for our services. And I say that's not really something that you need to worry about. Look. The, the types of laser scanners that are making Richard Branson's head are not the same laser scanners that you're using for your roadway surveys or your bridge surveys or your highly technical work that people are paying you large amount of money for so that you can get millimeter or five millimeter accuracy, right? These are laser scanners that are lower in price. You know, maybe they're David's or, you know, maybe they're handheld scanners or maybe we're talking about photogrammetry here. But we're talking about 3D data capture for something that doesn't require the precision of building a roadway, right? But it's still good for you laser scanning providers who do do that because it's opening people's minds to the possibility of 3D data capture, right? We want them to think, hey, I guess I could just scan that first because if that's their attitude towards making a print out of their head, it's also going to be their attitude towards making a construction plan for their new roadway project. So take it from me, these frivolous scanning projects are good for you and I encourage you to embrace them and promote them because what's good for the big bottom of the industry is good for the very top of it as well. So anyway, those are my thoughts for the week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.